A massive fire destroys a local landmark. I'm News Center 16's Michelle Relliford live in Shipshawana with complete coverage of the overnight tragedy. Plus, News Chopper 16 takes us over the damage to show you just how massive the blaze was that firefighters battled for hours to put out. Also tonight, a News Center 16 exclusive. Hear from the family of a young boy who lost his life to shaken baby syndrome. And U.S. Marines head to Haiti to help restore order after the war-torn country's president resigned. News Center 16 at 6 is next. You're watching WNDU-TV, Channel 16, South Bend. Live from the WNDU studio, this is News Center 16. Coverage you can count on. Eight different fire departments battle an overnight blaze in Shipshawana for hours. Everybody's been here since 11.25 or 11.30. We're tired. News Chopper 16 shows what's left of a community's historic part of town. There were probably uh, 10 or 12 businesses here. And uh, of course, a lot of people employed and a lot of uh, business owners lost everything that they had in the fire. Good evening, I'm Danelle Hall. Thank you for joining us tonight. Beginning now out of LaGrange County, where the historic town of Shipshawana lost a local landmark to a massive fire. News Chopper 16 captures these images this morning over the Old Davis Hotel. The building caught fire overnight and burned for about four hours. As you can see, the hotel and several other businesses in the building were leveled by the blades. News Center 16's Michelle Relliford is live in Shipshawana. She's been following the story all day. And Michelle, what can you tell us tonight? Well, Janelle, the fire that destroyed this building was so intense that he got past this, bills, this business and melted panels over here on this building more than 50 feet away. Residents say the fire departments did a great job saving nearby businesses like these. They just wish their landmark building could have been saved. Stunned Shipshawana residents are holding on to the memories and to each other after this building, a town fixture for more than a hundred years, burned to the ground. Everybody feels helpless with this size of a project, this size of a loss, they just feel helpless. The loss is more personal for Levi King. His family owned four of the 13 businesses inside the building. This is all that's left. Everybody's asking me if I'm going to rebuild. I don't know. Um, these are pictures of my mom and dad, Alvin and Elsie Miller. Chris Stutzman's parents owned businesses here for more than 20 years. It was a staple for their children and grandchildren. That's, it wasn't Lally's to them, it was Grandma's store. And they came up and they saw the building for the first time and they said, did Grandma and Grandpa die? Fire officials say no one was hurt. Exhausted workers continued to pour water on the last smoldering embers. They'd been on the job for more than 12 hours. Um, we've had uh, firemen here from eight different departments. Everybody's been here since 11.25 or 11.30. We're tired. Yet in a town that can seem untouched by time, more than a century of history is destroyed. The whole community feels a really big loss. The ATF is still on the scene. They're investigating to find out if arson may have been the cause of this fire. Shipshawana's fire chief estimates the damage at about $5 million. Obviously, this is an enormous loss for the community of Shipshawana. There was a fabric store inside this building where people could get quilting lessons. There was a toy store, two restaurants, even a music store where people could learn how to play instruments. A business owner told me today there was an amazing day yesterday. They had lots of sales. Now he feels it's all for nothing to know. All right, Michelle Relliford live in Shipshawana tonight. Thank you. Many Shipshawana residents watched in disbelief as the old Davis Hotel burned for four straight hours. The community feels a loss of the historic part of town that can never be replaced. The hotel um, was built in 1894 and it actually is a sister building to Hostellers and and I think it was in the 50s they moved the building. They actually picked the building up and moved it over here and attached it to a building in the back. And then when my father purchased it, he added the front porch, which you can still see standing. The whole thing is a huge loss. There were probably uh, 10 or 12 businesses here. And uh, of course, a lot of people employed and a lot of uh, business owners lost everything that they had in the fire. As investigators try to figure out the cause, remember to stay with News Center 16 for continuing coverage of the Shipshawana fire. We'll have the latest on the investigation tonight on the late edition and then throughout the